Okay, I want to talk about Monero and I also want to talk about privacy coins as a whole because I believe 2018 and beyond is going to be the year and years that privacy coins are going to smash it. The reason is I feel like regulations are just around the corner and when regulations come in, privacy coins explode because people funnel from non-privacy coins into privacy coins. It's just simple human nature and Monero is leading the way. So the way Bitcoin works is everyone has a public address and it's a you know number and digit combination and you receive funds at your own address and anyone can see what those funds are. When you want to send funds to someone, they tell you their address and you can see what funds they have stored in that address. So everything is open and transparent. This might be good for a non-profit organization, but I don't think it's good for most businesses who are in competition with other businesses. I don't think even banks want this. I don't think humans want this. So therefore, we need another option, and Monero has provided that. There's many, many privacy coins, and I've actually created an online program that's packed full of a few hours worth of content going through what privacy is, how it works, and also over 20 different privacy coins, and I've ranked them from an investment point of view and potential. This program's taken me multiple weeks of work, and I've distilled it down into this online program. The link's below. It's a coupon. It's less than $15. It's 90% off if you click the coupon. And Monero is one of those coins. No, it's not my top pick, but Monero is an excellent privacy coin. Monero is extremely private. It also uses things called ring signatures. Ring signatures enable transactions mixing to occur. So what that means is actually when you send something to someone, it's mixed in with many other sort of fake transactions. It's shuffled around and then it's delivered. So anyone looking in from the outside is going to actually see just many different transactions, they're not going to go which one was the actual one that was delivered and from where. So ring signatures are an amazing privacy protocol that Monero uses. Then on top of ring signatures, they use ring CT. And ring CT is ring confidential transactions. It went live on the 10th of January 2017. It's a high level of privacy. So it doesn't just hide the source of the funds from and to, but it also hides the amount of funds being sent. So you actually don't even see how much money was sent, how much Monero was sent. And this is achieved by applying a mathematical function to all funds such that public observers or people looking around can see that the transactions are legitimate, but only the sender and receiver can know the actual amounts. So Ring CT is a great addition to Ring Signatures. And then we've also got Stealth Addresses. And Stealth Addresses is a great thing that also Monero uses. And this is simply when a transaction is sent, Monero doesn't actually publicly record the address of the destination and instead creates a new anonymous one-time address as the destination that is not linked to the actual person who's receiving the funds address. This one-time address is called the stealth address because it ensures that your public address does not appear on the blockchain. So this is fantastic and it also enables a higher level of privacy. So Monero has a huge amount of developers. It is the big dog of privacy, they know what they want, they know what they do, and they'll continue to be one of the best coins out there for privacy. And because I feel like privacy is going to be a huge boom, 
within the next year, two years and onwards because financial freedom is a key to our human right and a key to a an economy that actually thrives. We need to have our freedom. We can't have someone telling us what's right and wrong, good, bad. Oh, no, that's sort of wrong. We're just going to shut your funds off and everyone's snooping in on everyone else's funds. This isn't just this just isn't healthy. So Monero realizes that they do not support illegal transactions. They don't stand for legal transactions, but they do stand for financial freedom. And you know, one may pay off and the other one may suffer a little bit, but financial freedom is key and it's for human beings, individual human beings to be responsible for what they do. So the next thing that Monero has implemented is Project Covery. And Project Covery, which is currently in development, will actually hide the internet traffic that a user of Monero is actually gaining. So this is achieved by encrypting all of your Monero traffic and routing it through invisible internet project nodes. So that means that people won't even know who is using Monero. They can't even find that out. So there's just so much privacy surrounding Monero. These nodes pass your messages along and have no visibility over what is in them. So it's similar to CoinJoin, and this is all stuff that I go into in my program, and then I actually outline which coins are using what and which ones are the best, and the potential, the community, the fundamentals, and the technicals, and I actually rank my top coins in this program. So it's it's definitely worth uh, every penny for that program, and I've put the link below so you can jump over and get that if you want to. Now, privacy is going to be a huge race in the future, but Monero's large community of developers and extremely intelligent people that are consistently and constantly researching and improving all the aspects of Monero's privacy will keep Monero at the forefront of this privacy. So now I want to jump over to CoinMarketCap and their website. So it's $284. I feel Monero is an absolute steal at these prices and I feel like it's a long-term investment and a long-term hold for myself and for many others, I suspect, as well. Now, if we jump over to their website, it's a great, simple, clean website. They're very clear at what they want to achieve and I want to play this video for you just so you can get an understanding as well. To most people, financial privacy is very important. But banks, big corporations, and even governments are having their records compromised. The undeniable conclusion is there's no safe place to conduct private transactions. Well, there wasn't one. Until now. Meet Monero. Monero is a secure, private, untraceable currency. With Monero, you are your own bank. Only you control and are responsible for your funds. Monero is private. This means businesses can keep their suppliers in secret, as well as citizens escape government repressions and nosy neighbors or crooks. Monero can also be selectively transparent, and you can choose who you want to see the transactions. Monero is dynamically scalable, which makes it very different from a Bitcoin. Also, the block reward will never drop below 0.3 XMR. And the nominal inflation will stay at 0.3 XMR per minute. Monero is decentralized. It has an active development community with more than 30 contributors. Take back control over your finances and start using Monero today. So as you can probably tell by now, I'm a huge supporter of Monero and a big fan and a big fan from an investment point of view. So if we look at the technicals on the 555, we've got a upward channel. Moving Now we've got a bigger upward channel where it's found support a couple of times here. We've got the roof and then we've got a possibly a bigger floor here because it's touched more times along here and actually dropped through found resistance but it looks like it's punched through there and now it's found the floor again. So we're looking at this channel mainly running through here and what I love is that Bitcoin prices are going to keep increasing. Yet Monero is compared to Bitcoin, because this is Monero to Bitcoin, has been in this upward channel since 2016, you know, all the way back around here, middle of 2016. So over a year and a half, 
it's been gaining compared to Bitcoin and we all know the huge increases of Bitcoin. So I see Monero with absolutely massive potential and I see some privacy coins in the future having bigger valuations than Bitcoin. I really do. I think that coins need to put privacy at the forefront and Monero is doing that extremely well. So Monero is a great coin and it is in my program. It is not my top pick, but it is a great coin to add to your portfolio in my personal opinion. And I see Monero hitting well over $1,000 in 2018.